what's up guys, Diplux here again, welcome back to Combat Mission Battle for Normandy. I'm actually very excited to be back playing this, we've taken a small break, but here we are commanding the Waffen-SS during the Battle of Arnhem. And if you've seen A Bridge Too Far, which is by the way my favorite war movie, then you're gonna know what we're doing quite well, because this is an iconic battle. Uh, that has been recreated in many ways, and uh, this is just a very cool battle scene that I'm super excited to relive in Combat Mission Battle for Normandy. I couldn't think of a better game to do this in. Uh, Men of War possibly as well, but uh, that's for perhaps another day. We have here in front of us the famous bridge at Arnhem, which was nicknamed, I do believe, uh, John Frost Bridge or something like that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and read some quick information about the Battle of Arnhem and the very... Uh, the very man who defended the bridge together with the rest of his uh, second parachute battalion in September 1944. Frost is best known for his involvement in the Battle of Arnhem during Operation Market Garden. Uh, during this battle, Frost was to spearhead the 1st Airborne Division's assault on the bridge at Arnhem and hold it while the rest of the division made its way there. If all had gone to plan, there would have been almost 9,000 men holding Arnhem Bridge for the two days it was supposed to take 30 Corps to reach them. On 17th September 1944, as commander of the 2nd Parachute Battalion, Frost led a mixed group of about 745 likely armed men who landed near Osterbeek and marched into Arnhem. The battalion reached the bridge capturing the northern end, which would be the, the very side you're seeing right here. This is the southern end of the, uh, the, the river over on that side. Uh, but Frost then found that his force was surrounded by the 2nd SS Panzer Corps, which would contain the 9th and 10th SS, and cut off from the rest of the 1st Airborne Division. Uh, Frost was in command during the fierce four-day battle that followed, in which the Germans rained artillery fire onto the parachutists' positions and sent tanks and infantry uh, into some of the most intense fighting seen by either side, with very little mercy given. The Germans were greatly surprised by the airborne forces' refusal to surrender and their continuous counterattacks. After a short truce on the third day, when 250 wounded were removed, the battle continued until the remaining paratroopers had run out of ammunition. Uh, there were around 100 paratroopers left. As a result of the action, during which he was wounded by shrapnel in his feet, Frost became a legendary figure, figure in the Parachute Regiment of, and the British Army. So uh, that is what we're about to witness here. So I do recommend that you guys go and watch the uh, movie A Bridge Too Far. Uh, it covers uh, Operation Market Garden and the Battle of Arnhem quite nicely. So we're going to recreate the very scenes. I'm not sure this is exactly how the battle went down. But since it went down for four days, we're going to recreate kind of like four days in, in one battle and one hour. So we'll slam it all together. So the first attack will be the lighter one here. Um, also as seen in the intro to this video and in the movie. Sort of like a lighter mechanized unit moving across. And then we have some heavier panzers to cross the bridge with later. So this is going to be super intense. Hopefully the battle will start here on the bridge and end on the streets below fighting paratroopers in house to house. I am super excited. But since this is realistic and not only a film, there's going to be fighting all over the area as well to kind of get a more sense of realism and history. So let's go ahead and give these guys their first orders. Um, I'm going to take the vehicles that we have here with us today. This is really cool. It's such a nice mix of reconnaissance and mechanized assets. Let's go ahead and give them a... They weren't like speeding across the bridge. They were kind of like attacking it, but not super slow, but not overly fast either. So we want to get them to like... We want to try and get them across the bridge because that's what they would have wanted, so to speak. Uh, and that should be every single unit. And that's it. This is so cool. I am so excited. Let's go ahead and uh, click start and let's just enjoy this. This is awesome. Okay, this is looking exactly like the movie now. Oh boy, I'm excited. Here come my armored vehicles. They have no idea what they're about to face on the opposite side of the uh, the river here, what kind of resistance they're about to go up against. But uh, we're ready for it. We'll see how the Brits will handle this first wave. This is so cool. Oh, man. <laughs> yes!
Oh, the first wave is moving out. I can't wait for this to, to begin. I wonder where the Brits will start shooting at us. Oh, we're already engaged. This is exactly like it happened in the movie. Okay, we're getting some frame drops. I, I think it's the map itself, which is a little hard on the system. Perhaps the bridge. I think I can disable the hit messages. I'm not sure how. I can't remember. There we go. I wonder when P.F.s are gonna come flying. Oh damn, why is it so laggy? Like, it's only crossing a bridge, I have no idea why. Is it because I'm looking at it? There's not a lot of troops involved. Why are you breaking- why am I down on one FPS? Alright, we'll see if we can salvage it. I'm gonna zoom out again, make sure we're not looking at the bridge all too much. Okay, we haven't missed too much. This is the first wave of the attack. Whew, let's try. Alright, I'm gonna enable the icons so that we can see what we're doing. And continue. Okay, great. Let's bring the whole vehicle column to a halt. Or deselect me at will. Do what you want. There we go. Okay, let's send our some infantry down the left side. Let's send two squads down that way. And let's continue the fighting here as we're crossing the bridge. There's a few airborne troopers here that have done some damage to us. Unfortunately, the buildings aren't tall enough to really cover the bridge the way they do in the movie, and perhaps realistically did. That's a little shame. Oh, Piet went right over. Oh, crap. Well, I suppose a movie is always a movie. All right. Another Piet. Oh, that hit that vehicle up good. They're dead. Oh, dude, we're taking so much fire. They've uh, set up positions further back. We're trying to get over here now. Dude, we're taking fire from every single direction. Holy shit, this is more like it. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting the vibes from the movie now of the panic, the sheer panic on being on the bridge here. We need to keep moving. We can't stay stay still here for too long. Oh shit. The vehicle's taking a lot of fire. If you've seen some aerial photos of the bridge during the fight or after the battle, you would have seen a lot of vehicle wreck wreckage just like all over the bridge, pretty much. Pretty crazy stuff, if you ask me. Dude, we're getting gunned down over here. A lot of casualties. I'm gonna still do my best to tactically uh, provide for these soldiers as I'm in command of the Germans today. It is my tactical duty and duty overall to make sure that these soldiers do as good as possible. We're here to win the battle, after all. Maybe even change a little bit of history. Perhaps we'll take it on the first try. I doubt it, though. We've lost a lot of infantry here. Okay, we're going to need to send up some more infantry on foot further back here. We had a... Um, the other squad, we're going to send them up as well. So that would be the last of the Fusiliers that we'll send up together. They're kind of a little more reconnaissance than the Panzer Grenadiers we're saving for later together with the heavier armor. I can't wait for that as well. So let's get these guys. Another platoon is being sent across. No lag now. I wonder why. I think it's because it all kicked off. I have no idea. Or is it because things are driving over the bridge? I wish I knew. I wish there was a way to analyze it, and then I knew that I... Then I'd know not to... Uh, to show it or do it in future videos, but I, I think it's this map. I've played this, this game a lot before, and... Um, this map, I've tried it several times. I think I just forgot that it lags a lot. I wonder why. I think bridges, like, I don't know. Computers don't like bridges. Let's get these uh, vehicles moving forward. We need to clear up the bridge a little bit and get to the other side. Dude, there's like smoke coming off over here. This is nasty, man. Dude, we're taking so much fire, guys. We're taking so much fire. We got some 20 mil opening up on the enemy as well. Oh, man. This is it. This is Market Garden. This is a bridge too far. I'm, I'm loving it. The way that it's being recreated now is just giving me chills almost. Oh, this is so cool.
Got the bridge in the background. Oh, I love that. Taking a few screenshots, if I may. Some cheeky, cheeky screenshots. I love that. Okay, let's focus back on the battle. The SS are fiercely trying to kick the Brits out. Capture the opposite side of the bridge here before the 30 Corps arrives. And the 30 Corps was delayed several times during their way here, and they never made it in time, unfortunately. They took Nijmegen, though, right, together with the, uh, together with the uh, 82nd Airborne, I do believe. And the Germans failed to uh, destroy the bridge using explosives, if I'm getting the right bridge here in, he in my head, so to speak. I do believe I am. Okay, is more infantry coming across? It's taken a while for them to get across, but we'll have to run them. We didn't have enough mechanized vehicles to send them over. Perhaps I can actually pick some up with uh, my half-tracks. You know what? I'm going to do that exact thing. As crazy as that sounds, we'll do like a second part here to the, to the assault. There we go. And uh, cut to the point where we actually solved the uh, logistical issues there with the half-tracks and uh, reinforcing infantry. The uh, second half of the uh, company is on its way across now. We're using up the three half-tracks we had, part of the first assault, and uh, two support vehicles, part of uh, the uh, the main assault. They were also kept at a back there, so we're going to move the rest of the company across to company. So I suppose we're symbolizing uh, the, the second part of this assault by doing this. And uh, in a few minutes, we're going to initiate tomorrow, so to speak, by attacking with the heavier armor back here, part of the, uh, um, what is the second battalion? No, first battalion. Cool. Uh, how's it looking here on the other side? Well, not great. <laughs> We've lost plenty of vehicles. We have a few currently in action, but they're not taking any fire, but they're not spotting any airborne infantry either, so they're... Uh, pretty much inactive as we speak. They're giving the infantry back here some kind of support, some boost to morale. Uh, but our infantry's struggling. Look at these men. They're trying to help the wounded. More reinforcements are on the way, though. These guys are getting hit from the side, inside the half-tracks. Look, they're taking fire. They're being shot in the vehicle. Uh, some heavier weapons penetrating the, the light armor here. They're going to they're gonna need to get out. Or no, we're going to continue driving? Okay, let's just dismount. Jesus. Yeah, the vehicles are having a hard time crossing the bridge. That's uh, something I've just noticed. They don't like this a lot at all. Yeah, they don't like it one bit. <laughs> but we need to get them across. The, the, that, that case still stands. So let's, let's hurry up across the bridge and let's try and pierce through the uh, first wave here. So let's uh, take some of these vehicles. Let's pull them aside the road so that we can get the second wave uh, and give them some room, rather. Oh man, things are just popping off over here, burning and exploding. We're struggling treating our wounded as well. This, these guys are trying as good as they can. Oh man. And this half-track, of course, stopped on the road. In the middle of the road, rather. It has to keep going as well. I know there's only the driver left, this infantry squad. Took a few casualties. They're going to keep going as well. We can't stop. Okay, more reinforcements are finally arriving. So, I still really don't know where the Airborne's at. They're, they're everywhere and nowhere at the same time. They're held up in the buildings. We... We haven't seen any real presence, uh, only uh, the proof of a few dead ones here at the start of the bridge, shooting at our units as they crossed. But the rest are hidden in buildings and alleys and trees all over this area. But as I said, we're not seeing any concrete proof of their presence. We don't really know exactly where they're at. And that scares me. They could be right here on the other side of this uh, slope, hidden in the trees. We'll see if we take Piet fire or something crazy like that. Okay, they're fine. We're getting this vehicle across as well. Oh, jeez. Holy shit.
Back off, back off, back off. Okay, you're gonna support, you're gonna support. Infantry. First squad, let's move him up as well. This is crazy, this is absolutely insane. gonna continue treating wounded oh no 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 don't embark there just just treat the wounded oh yes yeah, some 20 mil fire now supporting the uh, infantry as we're crossing Vita, Vita. still missing a few vehicles uh yeah I'm gonna hold you right there Get you guys to dismount. It's too dangerous to ride into the battle, so to speak. Listen, you guys are going to drive that vehicle, and you're going to drive this. We need to get these vehicles off the bridge. They're stopping our... They're, they're delaying our advance here on this side. I don't like it one bit. Okay, so we got some men into the building here on the side. We're going to hold you right here. Let's get these guys out as well. Stop. Just go, just go, just go. Bail out, bail out. Can you empty the vehicle? They can't even bail out. Get out, get out, get out. No, stop. You need to just stop the vehicle. Stop the vehicle. I can't control. They're, they're shaking and panicked. And these guys, like, they, they can't even... They can't exactly jump out as we're moving. Okay, but we're backing down into safety now. MG guy returning fire. Oh, shit. The fucking airborne back here. Hardcore motherfuckers. Oh, he was killed. Hardcore. Look at the damage they've done. We've sent over a whole company now. And uh, there's not much left. There's nothing left. There's nothing. There's no solid manpower remaining. Piat's still being fired. Oh, man. Can I Can I get you to stop as well? No, you're, you're panicked too. You're just driving all over the place. You're going to kill every man inside. This guy's still backing off in panic. Can can oh my god, let my infantry out. That's not gonna work. They're not gonna let my infantry out. I don't think my infantry wants to get out. I'm ordering them out, but they together with the vehicle driver is like, no. Keep going, keep going. Okay, we finally got them out. And they finally got out as well. The driver stopped on the wrong side of the road. This is just this is exactly what chaos looks like. Miscommunication. Lack of intel, people panicking, different different ideas of what to do. Some want to stay, some want to go. Some want to fight, some want to run. Yeah, this is this is really re this is really looking like that scene out of the movie. And this is just a, a mess getting over. But I am confident that we can get our get ourselves a uh, historical result towards the second half of this battle. Which I'm currently organizing further back, or will be at least. We're we're getting some we're gaining some ground here. I'm gonna get him in with that platoon HQ. Oh yes, about our cars. We need to get them off the road. I know it sounds like a tough task, but let's just get them off the the bridge so we can transport armor down. Casualty treatment over here. We have a driver with Panzerfaust to help in another guy here. The the only survivor part of Squad Two. I feel a little bad for him. We're going to drive up the Kubelwagen there on that side as well. Company HQ. They got across. Okay, well, that's nice. Listen, I need you guys to dismount. Got a Leutnant. Or, this is probably a captain. Let's get him into that small building. Let's move, let's move. Or actually, let's get him into the big building here, second floor. Oh, man. Oh, they're, ge they're getting gunned down now from behind. There's paratroopers down here as well. Shit. This is not looking good at all. This is this is a disaster. Oh, boy. Well, I still want to make use of the, the half-tracks, so I'm sending them back. We're going to be picking up more uh, grenadiers. I shouldn't have dismounted everyone. This driver, I need him to get out. And I need him. This is going to sound crazy, but I need him to take that half-track. We need to get it out of here. 
that's right, we're, we're saving and salvaging these because they're going to be part of the next assault, which is going to uh, demand more uh, vehicles. I think also if we drive them in a straight line, we'll have a better chance. Look at this guy, the, the 75 mil Puma variant here. Uh, Open-faced. Fired an HE shell at what I think would be uh, British paratroopers attempting to get further up here on the bridge to counterattack. Didn't really work out for him. We fought him back, and uh, look at this. We got this vehicle back. Nice. Dude, this is so fierce. And, wh and when I say dude, I feel like I'm talking to you specifically. Yeah, that's you, viewing. If you're a girl, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, for, for calling you dude, I suppose. But, um... Yeah. Okay, let's uh, turn our vehicles to the right. Let's bring our panther up a tiny bit. This is this is the really good part when we're sending over the the heavier uh, Panzer Grenadiers Kampfgruppe. This is gonna be the really good stuff. So this is why I want three more half tracks, so I can support one more platoon in a mechanized crossing, which would be uh, I'll choose the second platoon. Third platoon will have to arrive on foot, uh, manually, so to speak. What is up with these like? Who is going here and then back? Oh no, that's this half track. It's trying to make its way back here. Chaos man, we've got a few soldiers up here on this side. Three soldiers. Okay, we'll we'll keep you. Uh, can we run you further in? One of the houses up here would uh, historically be the house that John Frost held. Hey! Oh, those are our soldiers. I thought these were British paratroopers. It would have been epic if they held that building. I would have liked to see higher buildings or a or a uh, shorter bridge, but I think this is how it historically went down. Um, I don't think many of the buildings looked over the bridge too much, but then again, in the movie they recorded it at the bridge, I think. So, yeah, I, I would have liked to have seen a lower bridge so that the buildings from the top floor could have covered the actual actual bridge, because then you could have had soldiers in those windows shooting at the uh, troops crossing the bridge. But this will have to do. This is this is close enough, as I'd like to. to call it. Uh, company HQ is across, so that's, if we look at Company HQ, we've gotten pretty much everyone over from the Aufklärung, and historically I think the regiment that crossed first, or the company or regiment or battalion or whatever it was, was a uh, the 9th uh, Recon SS. Um, it says that at least on a battle map that I've seen. So, um, that does make sense that we had some Aufklärung going, going over first with their lighter vehicles. But now the heavier elements here of the uh, the 9th SS is about to get over. The Battalion Kampfgruppe here. So this is good stuff. Alright, let's get the first squad in... Oh, they're all up here. Sweet. I hope fuel is fine. Second squad and third squad. I'm gonna leave... Uh, honestly, platoon HQs. You guys are a little superfluous. I'm gonna leave you guys further back here. If there's someone wanna, I want to get over, I want the company HQ to get over. In the car. We'll, we'll pick up the platoon HQ. Wait, can you actually, can you ride with them? No, they're, they're too big. On any tanks? No, there's no other vehicles that support you. The infantry needs to get over first. That's priority. Okay, my soldiers here from the second squad are surviving this. Let's try and bring them from, like, wall to wall here, house to house, to do some clearing before the rest of the troops arrive. There's only three of you, but I'm going to have you guys on an assault pattern. What I could try and do is get this guy in the uh, that uh, 250-1, and uh, I'll get you s second squad. I'll move you over as well in there. You guys are going to carry over some of the uh, platoon HQs across. I think they could fit nicely in that vehicle. It is a smaller half-track. Oh, now you're taking fire. Shit. There goes one guy. Oh, I'm going to rush this vehicle down to try and support. Now this right side is taking so much fire. Paratroopers are counterattacking. They're trying to kick us out. Holy shit. Okay, we got one guy in here. He's gonna be the driver. This 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 half track can take four passengers, so I'm gonna drive it back. Alright, boys. This is when it starts really counting. We're taking fire all the way back here. What the hell? Okay, so. Let's get you guys to the side. Listen, if I can just get you up there, that's fine for now. Let's uh, focus on uh, bringing the reinforcements to the battlefield now. 
This is a good line. We'll do uh, regular speed to avoid any big uh, traffic mess. That should be enough. That move of order right there should cover all of it. That should be every vehicle involved. Correct. Fantastic. This is great. Now we're going. And I'm going to take third platoon. I'm going to move you guys over as well. That's right. Move. Nothing else. Nothing too fancy. Otherwise, you'll get tired running. I know it. Yeah, this is where the slightly laggy bit begins as well. I'm going to try and click out of the command screen. I think that lags it down a little bit. 27 minutes remaining. We have to go for a victory now. Or ultimately, if we don't, then I suppose we've... Uh, limited ourselves to not all four days of the fighting, including the German victory, but perhaps just day one or two or three, which were not German victories, so to speak, at all. So that works with me, too. That works with me, too. Okay. There's dead everywhere. Like, on the bridge, on the side. Look at all our troops that have panicked, trying to get down on the side. That has not worked. And even here, they're literally counterattacking us right outside. Yeah, we're gonna need that reinforcement right now. Fucking hell. We have a few soldiers here behind them, so the Brits are not really aware of that. Oh, and they're gonna get gunned down as they try and move up. Smart. I see a lot of Sten guns here. Stens and Brens. Okay, they're gonna pull out and get shot down. Look at that second wave moving over now. But the uh, airborne so far have done fantastic, I must say. They've done absolutely amazing. Yeah, I, as I expected, they uh, got rid of the infantry I tried sending around the side here. Where, where did they die? Or th did they retreat? They're just completely gone. Oh no, they're, they're dead out there. That, that makes perfect sense. I'm not going to try and pronounce these. Well, Van Limburg Stirum School. What's this? Oise Bils Buiten Single. Vliat Strat. No, Vliat Strat. Riet Gracht Strat. Vesterfort Se Deik. Gasworks. Gasworks. Camis Milk Factory. Abateur Badhuis Strat. Oost Strat. Nieuwe Kade, I'm, yeah, I'm, there's a lot, I know I have a lot of Dutch viewers. I'm butchering their language, but try and pronounce in Swedish. I think that, is, that, it, that would sound equally funny as to me trying to pronounce this. Some of the Dutch words are easier than others, of course, like Marktstraat. What is this, Kadestraat? But some is just, what, like, what? What, what, what do you say? Like, what is, what is this? Eus bius bine single. What, what? I can't even do that in one go. Eus bius bine single. It's like four different words in three different languages in one word. Red school. Okay. It's not very red. Well, the Panthers have arrived. Thank heavens. Thank heavens. And that assault gun is moving over too, looking very, very dapper. Okay, I'm going to send this guy down here to the right. Because we need to blow some big-ass holes in the buildings. Actually, I'm going to keep you right here because I'm going to give you guys some target, target, uh, targeted fire to shoot at soon. Some specific targets that I want gone completely. I want them blown out of this fucking world. All right. We're sending these guys up there. Look at that second wave arriving a little bit more comfortably than the first and uh, other waves, so to speak. And now these half-tracks are on their way as well. All right. We'll send them over too. Let's not be shy. Let's get all the assets over. What is this? We have a half-track all the way back here. Everyone dead except for the driver. We'll dismount him. He's behind enemy lines. He's extremely valuable. Okay, they're, they're over there to the left. Yes, I think, uh, I think my vehicle has spotted them. He knows what's to do. He know what to do. There we go with 105 mil shell into the building. This is starting to look more like it. A lot of the buildings were completely destroyed. After the the couple of the few days of fighting, um, which is just insane, absolute insanity. 
All right, let's get these guys up here. We still need to make more way for the vehicles further back. We're clogging this up, and we have infantry crossing too. Why are they running now? Have I ever, ever asked you to run? I think move is a more suitable speed. They're tiring now, but they'll, they'll get across and they'll have to deal with it. That's all I ask of them. Otherwise, they will die on the bridge and we don't want any of that. Okay, so our assault guns are now starting to open up nicely on the British forces. We're not taking any shit. Look at that. They're trying to counterattack us. Brave, brave para paratroopers, I must say. Extremely brave. But against our German armor, it will be to no help. It will do nothing. Okay, we're getting our uh, squads out as well. Let's get some over here on the right side. Let's assault. Let's assault. Let's start clearing out. I want you guys on second floor in that building. You're dismounted and killed. I knew that, but I just thought you were pointless and annoying to deal with. Let's get you guys out as well. Oh, some more of that flak fire. That's lovely. Let's set up these assault guns in better positions where they can do more damage. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna need my Panthers and some more infantry on the left side. You're fine and you're fine, so we're definitely doing damage here to the British infantry. Like, minutes ago, it would have been impossible to get down here. Completely impossible. And yeah, we're, st we're still engaging targets in the area. Don't get me wrong, this is not clear yet. Look at this crazy close quarter battle here. Holy shit, we're running into an airborne squad. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, no, grenade. Holy fucking shit. That killed, like, five people. S excuse my language, but these guys are savage. They're not even pulling back. Holy shit. They're just... They're, they're, toying, us. they're, they're toying with us here. I don't like that one bit. Can I get someone to control the MG? Can we turn to the to the right? Can we put a shell in there somewhere? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you got him. There we go. It's the first time I'm hearing someone scream in this game. I've missed the scream. I thought I'd, I'd had to do it myself with all the... Stellung bleiben! Jawohl! Los geht's! Weiter, weiter. Stellung bleiben means uh, hold your position. Or halten diese Position. It's a lot of video games to to take uh, to take uh, voices from and commands and whatnot. Okay, let's. Uh, I I want support attacking down this street. I want support. Do we have a vehicle that can support? Uh, okay, we have you, and that is. Uh, not great, but it's good enough. We'll bring you down. Listen, I want you down here as well. And I will take this squad, which is tired. I, I know that, but I'll have you assault up with the 3rd Platoon HQ. This is, after all, your platoon. So we're going to send a 3rd Platoon down this way. That's a lot of manpower, by the way, so that's that's all good. You guys are a little late to the party. You're, you're, you constantly fail me when it comes to these basic tasks. Where are you walking now? Like, look at them. Where are they going now? They don't really know where they're going. Third platoon, man. Like, what kind of opium have you guys been smoking? Or what kind of, like, amphetamine are you guys high on right now? Well, I thought you guys quit that in 1940, after the Blitzkrieg. Don't, don't do that shit. It's not good. All right, there we go. Yeah, I think this'll... Was that a man of mine dying or them? No, that was a, mine, a man of mine being killed. Okay, face, face to the right, face to the right. I need another shell in here. No line of sight. I don't care. You, you'll you fire when you see fit. Uh, that's all that matters. Commander's alive. The rest are casualties. Okay, why don't you occupy that cute little house? You've got your reinforcements coming in here. And now we got some armored vehicles supporting too. Let's make it or break it, guys. 18 minutes remaining. Are we going to see a four-day summary or a... A disastrous one-day summary here for the Germans. That is what we're looking at in terms of historical uh, outcome. Okay, so this the armor. Uh, 
They're not great in situations like these, but uh, they're not terrible either. Uh, I'm going to send some back here. Actually, we'll take three of these vehicles and we'll send them back here. We'll clear out that street with whatever infantry we have. I think I want to send... I'm going to send the, the Panther all the way down the street. And we're going to send the... Oh, two half-tracks with full squads over here to the left. Are we... Oh, we're moving through here. So three men remaining. That's pretty disastrous. Do we have any... We can treat all these men. So I want to put you guys on med duty, so to speak. Third squad HQ. I'll send you down there as well. Help out. And uh, one squad. Send you down there as well. Okay, back off. Back off. Don't worry. We're moving up corner to corner. That's how we're going to win this battle. Corner to corner. And I'm going to send you guys up with them. There we go. Look at that. Now we're gaining some tactical superiority here with our vehicles and SS infantry clearing out the streets. Good stuff. Good stuff. I'm, I'm seeing progress and I'm enjoying it. I'm going to send you. This is going to be a little weird. Out to the side here. See if you can shoot at some British infantry down the, down the street or something. I don't know. Do a little sightseeing. Check out the waterfront. We'll take you on a slow move up there as well. Where's my infantry? Why are you taking... They're underneath the bridge. Okay. I want you assaulting that way. Come on. On you go. You guys are fatigued. But I'll have you move anyway. Keep going. You're going with the armor on that side. We're waiting for more reinforcements on this side before we do anything else. That's drastical. Perfect. We'll send those vehicles down that way. They should be fine without major infantry support. We've got a nice mix of vehicles. Uh, let's take the church. Let's take this church tower. Eighth floor. Holy moly. Is that the top? No, that's not. I don't want them at the top top. I'll, seventh is fine. How did that turn into the first? Come on. Seventh. There we go. That's great. Seventh floor. You guys in this vehicle, I'll move you to the Valberg plane. Valberg plane. In there. And I will actually, as a matter of fact, give you guys this, this panther for armor support. How kind am I? With 15 minutes remaining, as I said, we're either going to wrap up the disastrous first day or a somewhat okay four day. I mean, in the end, the result is winning, but it was disastrous nonetheless. We took so many casualties here. So many casualties. This squad is fine. Let's move for the uh, Vlitz, Vlitzstrat. Is it Fleet, Fleetstrat? I'm not entirely sure how they, how they do the Vs. Okay, but these guys are getting treated. We're giving them medical attention now. Can you drive through here? No. That's too much to ask for, isn't it? It's fine. Have you dri drive down these roads? Okay, we're assaulting over on that side. I think you, on the other hand, all you need is one guy. Actually, I'm going to take all of you guys, and I'm going to get you guys in this vehicle. And we're going to send you down the alley. Doesn't that sound exciting? <laughs> there we go. Where's my last half track? Oh, I have one more squad over here. It's not worth wasting. We'll send them in in a jiffy. These guys have almost made it here. They're tired. We'll have them walking. Actually, why don't you take a break there on the bridge? Go to the left side. Cover. Yeah, that's that's fine. Right there. This vehicle is immobilized. Okay, we'll then bail out. Oh, no. Cool-looking uniforms. Love the trousers, too. <laughs> this is so awesome. Okay, uh, let's let's get you guys on a quick move down there to support the, uh, the half-tracks. Can you use the stairs back there? Like, I, won't, I don't think they can. That would have been terrific. Not sure they can get down there, actually. No clue. Okay, you guys made it in here. That's great. So, I will presume that you can make it down this corridor. And I think you can. 
Let's keep driving our vehicle through here. Oh, man. Where's that fire coming from? Behind us? I have no idea. Like, fighting paratroopers in a situation like this is just disastrous. Disastrous, I tell you. Okay, I think we might have contact down here. But you're okay, though. That's 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 good. We're, we're just clearing this out. I know these aren't, like, anti-infantry vehicles or anything like that. But uh, we're getting we're getting vision of the area. I'm still aiming for a victory here today, despite the catastrophe uh, that we started off with, which was just very cool. Anyway, I, I loved I loved the catastrophe. I thought it was I thought it was very uh, very cool. Look, we have our troops up here on the church. Can I split you teams? Of course I can. I know what I'm doing. Split your teams. I'll get a scout team, uh, which is four men. Holy crap! I'll leave you up there. I'll take the rest, and uh, they will book it down there together with the panther. We're going to clear out these streets. We'll link up with the rest of the troops later. You're going to go there, and I'm going to also do the same thing with you. Give you guys a scout team. They had a sniper in it and less men. Okay. I suppose it's because we lost one from this squad earlier, but these guys are going to hold top floor. Third floor. There we go. And you are moving down. You're holding that floor. I think we've got a good coverage of the area here. They can look out quite nicely. Start sniping things down below. Half tracks. I'll let you guys relax over there. Oh, man. Big explosions back here. Still grenades being thrown. This is crazy, man. We're taking... We got four casualties on the street here. Moving these guys up because I want to secure this area. Even if I have to use heavy armor or, you know, tanks and shit. We're also going to move up in here to the, uh... Tr I think we're going to take gas works on the side together with some SS. Dude, I want more... Uh, urban combat in the future with SS and British troops and stuff. Like, Band of Brothers, uh, Brothers in Arms battle style, you know? The game and the movie and the series. Fighting in these somewhat industrial Dutch cities and stuff. Building to building. Uh, it's so cool. Hey, they're throwing frags at us. There we go. That's the result I wanted. <laughs> okay. So. Oh man, this is disastrous. The combat is insane. Second floor of that building, that's where I want you guys. Boom. Go, 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 go. Get you. Oh! Vehicle destroyed! Is that a Piat? We're being attacked from the rear now as well. Do you guys even know where the, the action's coming from? Yeah, there's some paratroopers running out here. Listen, we're not we're gonna need to secure this forested area here. I think there's troops all over it all over it since we killed a few men running out. I wonder if they hit our tank crew is just look at that uniform. Tank crew jumping out. It's so cool. This is really close quarter. This is from tree to tree. Holy shit! That explains how we lost that vehicle. Now, as, as, ugh, I hate to tell it, but you need to go back here and support these men. I mean it. I've got like crew getting all over the place. This is crazy. And is there a back door here? No, all this wall is collapsed. All right, I'm going to send in the first squad to clear out the top floor of that building inside that tram area. Three squad. Where's second squad? Is that... That's... Second squad's in... Back here. Yeah, are you now? Or it's completely lost somewhere else. Move these guys down to... We had British contact down here. I want to secure that first before we cross that off the list. We don't know for sure. We took fire from down there, that's for sure. And I'm gonna have this tank go down the street together with uh, this half-track. And they're gonna be on a little date. But before they do that, I want the third squad up in the tallest floor of that building. And then I want you on your way down there. 
Eight minutes remaining. I think it's going to come down to wrapping up the, the the remaining forces here. We're still engaging Brits down there opposite of us. And we're, sta we're still taking fire. Yeah, we're, we're, we're being shot at. There's a lot of paratroopers still causing a ruckus in the city. And I understand them. I would too if I... If I had the patience to be so uh, unsubordinately and or whatever you call it. I mean, honestly, I'd rather have these men line up in front of each other and battle with muskets. But, hey, that's just me. Uh, I'm going to run you guys across map to get into the half track. As weird as it sounds, I do actually want it. Yeah, I want the half track. How are we looking over here? Any more casualties? Yeah, we had some casualties. Further back. Panther has somehow turned the, the wrong way. I'm not sure that's how we're going. My SS guys are a little dopey. I'm. I think there's some kind of weird, weird substance as part of the mix here. They're not. They're not as combat efficient as I'd hope them to be. But we are getting the job done now. We're we're clearing out the churches and all these uh, street areas here. So there might be more pockets of defenders here, but uh, we're gonna surround them first and clear out the clear the exits first. We're still we're still holding this with armored cars and stuff in case they in case they randomly counterattack. You know, I can't trust these Brits. They're literally everywhere and nowhere at the same time. They appear and disappear like ghosts. It's like Mel Gibson's uh, Patriots, you know, fighting British columns of redcoats and whatnot. No, I told you guys to stay in the building. I I would recommend you to do so or evacuate to the opposite side of the street. There's battle back here now. Look. This is what I'm talking about. I knew there was a pocket of soldiers over here. At least a fire team. There we go. Now we're putting some fire on them. What do we got here? Just HQs. We don't need to bring any HQs over right now. They'll just get caught in a traffic jam and everyone will die. It's not worth it. So this part is mainly clear. I think we've also killed all British resistance in this area. No, there's, there's probably still some alive here. This one's, yeah, this one's immobilized and destroyed, so I bet you there is. We're, we're going to knock these guys out first, and then we're going to move around. I'm even going to bring this half-track, because we need it, as I said. We've got more infantry here. How very welcome. Listen, reverse down there, and then drive fast down the street. I know you'll like doing that. Or just reverse there, I suppose. There we go. This is dis this is nasty, man. All right, we're getting people into the building. We're entering the building. We're gonna take it up, take it over, and then these guys are casualties on casualties on casualties on casualties. There's just no ending. Okay, from the second floor of that building, we can shoot down at the Brits below us, so that's good because these guys are gonna be. Shooting at the Brits inside the forest. Good, that's some good return fire. We're finally getting something done here. I can feel it. But these Brits are insane. They're causing so much damage to us. Okay, time to get our infantry out. Where can I better use this armor? I know. Actually, no, I don't. We still need these guys to clear out the Vlitstrat, if I'm going to be frank with you. Wait, they're practically the ones crewing this vehicle. Oh, I can't, I can't let them out there. Okay, we'll have uh, this three-man team from the first squad, second platoon, move in there to the right. Here's a fresh squad, fr fresh second squad. We need to kill these airborne soldiers here. We need to do it. Look, as soon as we get out the vehicle, we're taking fire. This isn't right. Okay, I'm gonna need this assault howitzer again. Like, we're taking fire absolutely everywhere we go. Three minutes remaining now. Not a lot of time left on the clock. This place is cleared. So... I'm gonna send some armor support that way. We need to do that. I also need to get these guys this way. So we're gonna... There's two parts left that has some pretty obvious British resistance in it. And it's this forest area here near... Um, uh, Oststraat, the East Street, and the Kamis Milk Factory. 
also here in Vlitstraat. So those are two streets they, they refuse to let go. And I commend them on that. They're brave, but foolish. We've, uh, it was funny, the, the Germans offered the Brits to surrender several times. And I think they did it because the Germans were taking so many casualties. If, they, if the SS wouldn't have been taking so many casualties trying to cross, why would they have asked the Brits to surrender? That wasn't SS style. They would have, they would have killed them and captured them. That's what they... But they, they, they failed so horribly early on that it's the only real option they had. But with three minutes left on the clock, I'm gonna nail these guys. I'm gonna put a big ass fucking 75 mil HE shell in the in the face of these paratroopers. And I know that sounds horrible, but they've killed so many of my men. And I just will not have it. But we've been kind of forced to have it, so to speak, so far. Okay, you going there isn't gonna make much difference. We need we need the manpower back here. Same for you. And this vehicle. I'll have you back and in there. We're starting to really crack down on them now. This team is assaulting. Are they dead now? No, they're still fighting in there. Bastards. Okay, these guys are on their way. All right, well, while, while they're killing my small team, I'm going to have the bigger, bigger, full, fresh squad move in there and do the work. Hand grenades being thrown, too. Look. All right, guys, root them out. Sending in a bloody whole squad here with STG 44s and shit. Hand grenades. Look at that style hunt. <laughs> yes. Now we're clearing them out. Now we're doing it. But it is a tough battle. Why did you get up on the bridge? How did you get up on the bridge? Did you teleport? Don't tell me you teleported. Maybe you drove up and realized you were going the wrong way. That's perfectly fine as long as you do realize it. I think these vehicles will make it down there just in time. But I think the battle is going to be over to, to a large extent before that does occur. Gunner. Alright, I'll send. Everyone needs to pull the straw here. We're running tight on manpower. Okay, assault further in now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, lay down that MG support fire. There's dead bodies everywhere. They've got Bren guns and Sten guns and whatnot in here. Look at them. Yes, hello, you were saying? Oh, 75 mil from that uh, 233 three over there. Nasty business. And uh, with only a few seconds left on the clock, my Panther is going to arrive as well. My Puma is moving up. They're, 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 I think they're attempting to... I suppose that was us firing, but they're also shooting uh, Piats at us. Piats are nasty things. <laughs> Okay, but we're getting in here now. We're, we're starting to send some troops through the forest. Look at that G43. Or is that a G41? No, it's a G43. They're pulling out now, but they've they've done so much damage in in 10 seconds. You're gonna see how much damage the the friend or the Brits have done to us. How cool would it be with an early war game, an early war combat mission? If you guys buy these games, they will continue to do these awesome scenarios and battles and stuff and wars. So, do it. Okay, we're over time for a little bit, but I think this overtime will end soon. It'll either be a British tactical victory or it'll be a draw or it will be considered a German victory. If it is considered a German victory, we'll call it our four-day battle summarized into one hour of fighting. If it isn't a, Br a German victory, historically, it'll be the, the failed attack, I suppose, or the failed, or just the... The battle without the uh, the full conclusion, because obviously the fighting went on for several days. I wonder if the Germans got across the bridge only on the last day. I think they got across a few days after the first assault, and then there was still lots of fighting in the city for for, for a day or two. I don't think it all happened, you know, black on white, so to speak, over a day or over an hour. But um, yeah, it was a look at these guys. Tending to their wounded. They still have troops in the center of the forest. They're still shooting at us. Obviously, this panther can't see much. Alright, get down. <laughs> oh my f Please tell me you can do it. Just 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 fire. Hey, what the fuck? You're fucking up my tank. They're throwing... They're, it's knocked out. God 
damn, that is exactly kind of what I wanted, but not at the same time. I wanted it to fire its... They got satchel charges, these bastards. It's knocked out. It's knocked out. We're bailing out now. We're going to get shot as we're bailing out. Maybe these guys are more badass than the armor itself. Can you guys go on a hunt here? Yeah, kill him, kill him. Yeah. Or not. There we go. I'm not... I don't imagine this is exactly what happened during the Battle of Arnhem, but... At least we're, we're giving ourselves the, 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 the right picture of how crazy it was. Ah, oh, I would have wanted that vehicle to fire a big old shell right on him. Three men dead here. Oh, no, actually, four men alive, five men dead. Numbers. Two men alive here. Uh, we're, we're, we're assaulting. So there's no time to sit by and uh, relax. This is the 105 mil. Hopefully it can shed some light on the situation down there. There's still some infantry contact back there. Um, this squad survived the battle to a greater extent, but they're still feeling really bad about it. These guys are pretty much knocked up as well. We'll send them in. We'll, bas we'll basically send in as much as we can, and we'll have to be happy with that. We've done everything we can. We're, we need to clear them out. I don't think the battle is ending until we've done so. Until we're done so, gone so. So we're doing that. And how's it looking over here? Did all my vehicles get across? I think so. This one's dismounted. We still have two really fresh squads over here. Um, and I might just bring them along the water line over there. This battle is not ending, so... It'll end any second now. I think there's just something that makes it contested. See, we're defending the... We've got the prison under our control. We've got we've got this left side of the bridge control from our side of the view. The western side. The east side here is, is not under control yet. But we're, we're getting there. I feel like we are indeed getting there. God, like, fighting through this is hard. So this tank crew, veteran tank crew, is... Uh, You've got a Sturmgewehr. Don't you think it would be appropriate to be a little Sturm when you're using it? Alright, there we go. Fucking throw that hand grenade. There we go. Like, the... What are these? Are these... These are elite airborne, okay? They're crack airborne. They're absolute crack. My infantry is not as crack as they are. And when I'm saying crack, you're gonna think, Oh, what do you mean crack? A crack is a way to also rank infantry. Crack infantry is the best infantry, like crack elite infantry. Crack is technically not elite, it is just one notch below elite, I'd say. If elite is the best, then the crack is really good. These guys are like, can't be killed by hand grenades or something, and my K98s just aren't doing the trick. Come on, soldier, he's reloading. You missed. You're you, you panicking, because he's gonna, it's gonna kill you. This vehicle's destroyed. The Brits are just doing fantastic. I, I know I'm not being the great, the greatest commander I can be right now, because once again we are indeed recreating that movie feeling, right? So don't, don't forget that. Don't be upset at me. But I think, I think I partially regret it. I might have underestimated the, the Brits a little bit, thinking, oh yeah, we'll roll in with the armor. Oh. Uh, We'll get him. I don't have to put my, my full attention to the tactical tactical aspects of this battle yet. Ah, it'll be fine. I'm still I'm still quite stubborn. I'm gonna drive my Stug through this forest still. And same goes with this vehicle here. And same goes with this we're gonna root them out until we battle them on even ground somehow. Look, there's some good clear ground here. We're gonna keep driving through. This is the last pocket, the the last real part. They're trying to treat their wounded. Well, I'm gonna say hello with some extra armored vehicles. They took out my panther. I will commend them on it. Good job, good job. But I'm sure panthers were lost during uh, during the battle itself. I'm actually quite certain. There we go. Waffenesses minor victory. That's kind of what I wanted. Oh man, holy shit. Okay. So they did a lot more damage to us. We we lost two tanks, which is great job, Brits. Uh, six armored vehicles lost. They obviously lost no vehicles. Uh, Sixty men wounded. Ninety-four men killed. Um, and 40 men, okay. On our side, 82 men wounded and 87 killed, so more, a larger casualty, so to speak. But we also did outnumber them quite greatly. Look at that. So this was indeed the last pocket of the defense here. Third platoon HQ parachute. 
Even the platoon HQ has got a Piat. Like, they're very geared, these guys. Look at one squad. It's big. It's a section. It's got it's got a mortar, two inch. It's got two, three Bren guns, three Sten guns, four Sten guns, two rifles. I'm not sure if they've lost it. No, no, they hadn't lost any, taken any cash, please. Satchel charges and everything. Perhaps they've even used up, up their Piats. So, crazy kind of weaponry they're going there with. But, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, battle, and I will see you guys soon again. Ciao.